welcome everyone to Kuya Cello's TV. This is my third educational YouTube video. For today's vlog, we will learn on how to do data validation using Microsoft Excel. So, but before we start our, our demo, it is important to know what is data validation in Excel, right? Data validation features helps you control what can be entered in your worksheet. An example, you can create a drop-down list of item in Excel. You can restrict entries such as date range or whole number only. And you can also create, you know, custom rules for what can be entered. So today, I'm going to demonstrate on how we can create a drop-down list using Microsoft Excel. So let's just say I want to create a drop-down list for my favorite or my top five cut breed. Okay, so let me just type in my top five cut breed. Okay, so that's gonna be my my title, and uh, let me highlight it uh, to green. And below, uh, uh, below the title of your um, you know top five cat breed, you now you select the the below cell, and then uh, there you will put all the data or the, the names of your uh, top five cat breed. Okay, so for you to create a drop down list, so first you have to look on the ribbon tabs. Okay, on the ribbon tab, you will see there, um, you know, different tab, you know, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. And there's also tell me what you want to do so what we're looking is we will we are looking um, for data okay so we click on data and under data you will see a lot of option you know a bunch of you know a button but what we're looking is we're looking for data validation so under data tools okay you will see like a drop down or um, a button says data validation right so that's what we are looking for okay so you just need to click the data validation drop down and when you click that you will see the word data validation and left click all right after clicking the uh, the data validation, it will give you an option wherein you will see the settings, you will see the input message, you will see the error alert. But we'll be staying on the settings only. Okay, you don't need to uh, be worried about the input message and the error alert. So we'll be focusing on the settings. So on the settings below, um, this is where you need to select um, what. Uh, are you trying to you know to do are you trying to create a drop down list or are you trying to create like a custom rules for what um uh, of whatever data you want to enter to your um excel so since i told you that we will be you know creating a drop down list of my top 5 cat breed so let me just go ahead and click on the drop down here and it will give you a bunch of option right we have any value uh we have whole number we have decimal, list, date, time, and text length, and of course, custom. So we will, you know, select list because we're, you know, doing, a, uh, we will be, you know, listing down all the, all my top five pet breed. Okay, let me just click on that. And after clicking the list, you know, um, make sure that the ignore blank and incel dropdown has a check mark. And below, you will see data, uh, it's grayed out between so you don't need to worry about it just go uh directly to source under source right so you just need to type in there the list i mean your your top five cat breed or your um your data right so uh first my my first um cat breed is the um abyssinian cat so let me type in there uh b Sorry. Senior. Notes. Cat. All right. 
So, for you to enter another, um, you know, data or aside from Abyssinian cat, because we will be entering five, you know, cat breed. So, you just need to put a comma, then space. My next cat is American um, Bubtail. Okay, I like this cat. Then, same procedure, comma, space. Then, um, third one is my uh, the British, you know, um, short hair cat. Second, I um, mean, fourth one is uh, the Siberian cat, of course. I like Siberian cat. And um, I like also the uh, Singapore cat. Okay, so now under source, you all have the list or the top five list of your... Um, favorite cat and then um, after that after entering all the data you just need to you know go and hit OK okay after hitting OK um, you will you will notice that there is like a drop down icon on the cell you select earlier right so what you need to do is just to click on that and there you are you will see um, the list of you know um, your cat breed okay depends on you what data you'd like to 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 do or what type of drop down list you wanted to create so for me this is my top five cat breed okay so this is very simple and easy first again i uh, look for the ribbon tab and look for data and uh, look for data tools under data tools you will see the data validation and then after that click drop down and data validation once you click data validation, um, you will see the settings, select on list that you will allow um, to create a list. And of course, under source, um, you have to enter all the data you need and then hit OK. OK, so that's simple and easy. And I highly recommend these features for, you know, making reports or for your easy pick list of item, you know, whether in school or whether in, you know, in work so that's all for now and hope you learn um, until next time bye bye